Hi, this is going to be an unlisted video for a, um, a forum member. I'm just going to, you know, do it quick how to install the Lion King mod onto um, Forge on vanilla Minecraft. Okay, I didn't, I didn't actually read this for some reason. I haven't read the rest of that. Uh, basically, they can um, activate, they can't get the mod working on Windows, so I'm in vanilla Minecraft, so I'm just going to do a video tutorial for them now. It's going to be an unlisted tutorial, um, so yeah, not public, but yeah. So what you want to do is you want to click down the button, Minecraft.exe, you want to run Minecraft.exe, you want to log in, you want to update if it gives you that prompt. I, I, I don't use this Minecraft, that's why. That's why I'm getting that update. Right, as you can see, I'm on 1.4.5, clean. What you want to do now is you want to go to Minecraft, Forge, Can spell forge right dot net. As soon as Minecraft forge dot net loads, you click on releases. Six point four point one, Minecraft one point four point five. And then you can go ahead and download the universal one directly. Once it's downloaded, uh, yeah, open it. 436. Apparently, I'm missing out big time on Forge. I really need to update Forge on my thing. If Forge is currently at that version, I'm really missing out. Anyway, what you want to do next is you want to go to your app data, go to your realming, dot Minecraft, bin, and then you want to open this with WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever you've got. You want to drag and drop these files in here. You want to paste. Click OK. You're installing Forge. I don't believe you need to delete the MetaRim. But I'm not sure. I think it stops working if you delete the MetaRim. No, it doesn't. At least I don't think it does. There's an easier way to test that. It's a really easy way to test that. We'll go back to Google Chrome and then we want to go back on to Minecraft and just can download Minecraft.exe again because I'm lazy like that. And then you want to log in just to make sure our forge works. And yeah. Right, so that's what you get when you get a forge crash. Okay, the forge has just crashed, that's nice to know. Delete my dream then. It came with a major room there, but I might need to delete it. Now, what I need to do is I need to. I need to get to my downloads and open up Minecraft.exe again. So I'm downloading it for a third time. Log in. Right now, FML's setting it up, which means it's successful, it hasn't crashed. Now you see. 486. I really do need to update. Right, exit. I'm just going to pop it down the task bar for now. Right, what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and go back to the page, go all the way to the first page, and then scroll down, you want to click the download Lion King mod button, I've already got it so I don't know why I'm downloading it again, but I am, and then you want to skip the advert, even though there isn't one, Click download. 
I'm signing a Dropbox that it's got. So it allows me to add it to my Dropbox. I want to open it. Open the jar. And then what you want to do is you want to find your your uh, Microsoft jar. Drag and drop the files in. Let them copy over. Then you can go ahead and exit both of them. Go on Minecraft. Log in. Yes, you got my email address, but it's, as I said, it's not a public video. So, yeah. We're fine there. Wait for it to load. And then once you see the crash here. Um, Oh, okay then. Warning: You have the block ID of Christ on such a number greater than two fifty five. This will cause problems. Okay, to fix this, please open file. Okay, well that that's helpful. It actually shows you how to fix it if you run into a problem like that. At least it's you know working. Minecraft config ranking CFG to hit control I would say control F until you and then search for pride stone. You search for pride and it'll come up. Pride stone Redstone brick. That's got to be it there. Pine stone. Oh, obviously, that is 250. Why not? Let's see if that fixes it. Minimize. And then reload. Again. And then there we go, it's loaded. I want to create a new world. I haven't got any sort of like any eye or too many items on, so I can't prove that the mods are loaded by trying to spawn items. But uh, what I can do is just go ahead and save and quit go into mods and then you can see there it's loaded loading into the game okay so that was just a little quick tutorial on how to load it into your game successfully